Okay, here we go on three. Wait, I got, wait, wait, don't cheat. Ready? No, no, but your hands gotta be inside the pocket, man. No, no, <laughs> no. I'm gonna beat you. Ready? Are you ready? Wait, oh. no, no, no. Ready? No. I'm crazy for doing this. Okay, no, you gotta stretch it. Mac, you gotta. Whoa, whoa. I'm doing, I'm not doing the super move. Ready? Let's just Set. go. You cheater! <laughs> whoa! Whoa! Oh! He cheats a lot. <laughs> but he's fun. He loves to have fun. What's the relationship that you had with Michael Jackson? Uh, had or have? I mean, it's kind had of, both. you know, whatever. Uh, Let's go with had to Listen, have. you know, he's just, he's a good friend of mine, and he still is. I mean, everything that's going on, I mean, it's unfortunate. It's an unfortunate situation for, for everyone involved, and, you How know. How did you I, first get to meet him? Uh, I first met him, he kind of called me randomly, like, out of the blue. He was just kind of like, hi. Michael. I'm just like, hey. And the thing this is, this was with, after Home Alone. This or? is after Home Alone. I actually had met him before I was doing a um, Nutcracker at Lincoln Center. I was playing Fritz, and he came oh, backstage one day, and I, I actually met him very briefly. And he kind of recognized me because it was after I'd done Uncle Buck, and so he kind of mentioned something. And then he calls me up, kind of out of the blue, and it's kind of just this weird, random thing. And he was like, "Why don't you come over to my house?" And the thing is, I didn't react to him the way most people did. Most people were like Michael Jackson, and you know, I mean, he was a god to people. And to me, he was, you know. I knew he was a pop singer, but beyond that, you know, I didn't, I wasn't one of the fans. And I think that's one of the reasons why we connected, was the fact that, you know, I, believe me, I call him a jerk all the time. I call him a fathead and a this and a that, you and know, and he gets it. brother knew him too? Yeah, yeah, no, we all did. I mean, he was, you know, a family friend. <laughs> Mac is the most reckless driver. Oh, my God. <laughs> you almost killed him. It's his brother Kieran on the back. Did you see that lead? Your foot is ran over. They're good kids, though. You know, you had that like... This is what he did. Look, he had the camera and he went. <laughs> we, we, and, we and Mac are, are in, we're in Bermuda and we're looking for some interesting treasure. Mac and I would go on vacation together, and uh, Mac is very smart, and, and he's very ingenious in, in causing trouble. But it's his, it's his idea. Yes. I'm not going to try this And we were in Bermuda together, and uh, we were signing water balloons. He, he had me signing water balloons, and he was throwing these balloons at the fans on the balcony. They loved it. They wanted more. They were asking for more. But Mac's throwing it. So I was signing these balloons, and he kept throwing them. This balloon is autographed! I'm signing them, he's throwing them, and that's what we did. <laughs> those are snaps, those, those are little finger things you see there. When you throw them, they pop. And Mac wanted to see if he could light the snaps. What? I have to light this thing. I didn't want him to do it, but Mac. he did it anyway. No, we shouldn't use fire, Mac. I'm scared. Right in front of the manager. <laughs> Especially with the manager standing over you. Yeah. <laughs> no, okay, move back. This is the manager of the hotel, you know. He's gonna run you out. And he got away with it. The guy said, it's okay, don't worry about it. And he grabs me, he's like, Dev, 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 come here, I want you to meet somebody. And ladies and gentlemen, the one, the only Michael Jackson is in that airport van. Mac, do you have an introduction for me? No. <laughs> Wait a minute, don't I know you from somewhere? Uh, you're that guy, um, uh, 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 he's, he's armed, Luigi. he's armed, he's dangerous. Oh, Michael! It's a pleasure to meet you, Mr. Jackson. It was truly disarming how genuine and open he was. They were clearly good friends. You and Mac have had quite an extensive relationship. Is this true? Yes, I've mean, known each other for uh, four years now. <laughs> four years? Four or five years. How did you guys meet? We met, um, what was it? Lincoln Center. Lincoln Center? He's in the Nutcracker. You were in the Nutcracker? <laughs> you, I wanted to show yeah. this other side of him, how, how truly nurturing and genuine and nice he was. And I hope that we get to hang out soon off camera, okay? Okay. okay. One more thing. Yeah. What that's happened late. at the house? That's what all these things it's, that people you know, that's, are concerned that's what's about. So weird, you know. What did happen? Nothing happened, you know. Nothing. I mean, nothing really. I mean, we played video games, you know. We we you know played Sleep it as an amusement bed. park. Well, the thing is, the thing is with that whole thing is that you know they go, oh, you slept in the same bedroom as him. It's like I don't think you understand. Michael Jackson's bedroom is two stories, <laughs> and it has like like three bathrooms and this and that. So when I slept in his bedroom, yeah, but you have to understand the whole scenario. Mm -hmm. Macaulay Culkin were little. Kiri, Kieran Culkin would sleep on this side, Macaulay Cook is on this side, his sister's in there. We're all just jamming the bed. Then we wake up like dawn and go in the hot air balloon. 
You know, we would, we have the footage. We I have all that footage. But is uh, that right, Michael? It's very right. It's very loving. That's what the world needs now. More love. And the thing is with Michael is that he's not very good at explaining himself, and he never really has been, because he's not a very social person. I mean, he's, you're talking oh. about someone who's been sheltered and sheltering himself also for the last, like, 30 years, or you know, and so he's not very good at communicating to people and not very good at conveying what he's actually trying to say to you. And so when he says something like that, you know, people, you know, he doesn't quite understand why people react the way that they do. You know, somebody once reflected and said, you know, what Michael went through as a child, and he had to grow up so fast that he related to what you did, went through as a child, and I think he, in a way he was trying to protect you. Yeah. I mean, that, that, and I, I got something that was kind of profound. Did you feel that's yeah, true? Yeah, he, reach, he reached out to me because, yeah, because a lot of things were happening, like, you know, big and fast with me. And I think, yes, I think he identified with that. I mean, at the end of the day, it you know, it's it's almost easy to try to say, oh, it was like weird or whatever, and but it wasn't because it made sense. Like we were we were legitimate. Like here's the thing: at the end of the day, we were friends. In the most simple. And he was a child kind of, in many ways too. He didn't, he, had, he didn't. But also, like we were just like, it's it's like one of my friendships that people question only because of the fact that he was the most famous person in the world. Like, I think uh, maybe do you think the age gap is probably why they question? Yeah, it. why exactly. would an older man? Why would I? But only you would know. Because I, what I said in the very beginning is I was a peerless person. You know, I was like, yeah, like nobody else in my Catholic school even had like even like this much idea of what I was going through, you know, or what I did. And like he was the kind of person who like, yeah, been through the exact same freaking thing and wanted to make sure that like I wasn't alone in that. Here come Macaulay Cook and... <laughs> you ready? <laughs> Come on, Daddy. Come on, Daddy. <laughs> See, Mac takes big buckets of water and throw them on him. <laughs> he cheats a lot, <laughs> but he's fun. He loves to have fun, just like me. We're off to the field. <laughs> That's Mac's older brother, Shane. Okay, this is, we're preparing the water uh, balloon fight. What's the name of our time? What do you think of it? What were we last time? We had teams. We used the whole ranch. My favorite thing in the world to play, if you call it a sport, it's a sport. It's a water balloon fight. Because I like the way. <laughs> they splatter when they hit. <laughs> I've never lost a water balloon fight. I'm the Michael Jordan of water balloon fight. Legions of Doom. Yay. We won the fight again and again. Well, Janet, what's it like on the winning team? If he's going to get me. great. Ah! Woo! Woo! This is the face of a person who would do something like that. I'm going to be innocent. Right? <laughs> I mean, I went through this entire water balloon fight. Victory! Victory! Completely dry. But knowing Macaulay Culkin, he made sure. He schemed on me. He told me to go up on the diving board, and I went up there like a nut. Ah! No! Why do you think he likes young people so It's because it, it's the same reason why he liked me, was the fact that I didn't care who he was. That was the thing. I talked to him like he was a normal human being. And that's what, and, and kids do that to him, because he's not, I mean, he's Michael Jackson, the pop singer, but he's not the god of, you know, the king of pop or anything like that. He's just, you know, a guy who's actually very kid-like himself and wants to go out there and wants to play video games with you. Did your parents like encourage that. it? Um, I, they weren't against it. You know, it wasn't like they encouraged it or, like, pushing me upon it. It was just kind of like I wanted to hang out with him, and they were fine with it. So was you know, he fun? He was fucking awesome. He was hilarious. He was sweet. And, like, yeah, no, people people didn't know how funny he fucking was. See, I envy he, you that. I envy he, you. He liked prank calling people. He actually was really good with his wait voice, minute, obviously. Michael Jackson would prank call with you. You'd call some people. Yep. What would he say? Uh, he always, I, I can't do his voices because obviously he was good with his voice. But he'd go like, no, no, no. He's like, how are you? And like, yeah, I was like, I'm good. Like, <laughs> hi, you know, do you already mattresses in your mattress store? Like, you know, and kind of like, <laughs> and it was like, yeah, no. And he could do a really good, like, no, he was, what? Uh, he was fucking hilarious. Like people, I mean, he was charming, fucking funny, 
uh, silly. Like, yeah, and like he seems like a very like the most generous person. Yeah, too. he was generous. He was gentle. Do you still have any gifts that he might have given you? Uh, probably somewhere in the back of my house, you know. But yeah, look. Yeah, like give you sure. a birthday gift. Happy birthday. Yeah, exactly. Like, yeah, that's what I mean. For me, it's it's so normal and mundane. Like, you know, I know yeah. it's a big deal to everyone else, but like for me, it's like, yeah, it, it, it was a normal, like, you know, it was a normal friendship.